Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the Wasteland, where last time we spent some time digging out this trench that's underneath the fighting position. We also cleared out a couple of crack -a books so that we could increase our crafting skill, which we'll get to in just a second. But last of all, we also went into the stove biome last night and harvested up a bunch of steel off of some lamp posts. So let's get in here and do some crafting to start our day. And it sort of all starts over here with a new shotgun. We went and got all that steel last night so that we could get a pump shotgun. Let's see if I can find it in here somewhere. There it is, pump shotgun. We are short on duct tape. What's new? I use all the duct tape and all the glue to make repair kits usually, but I am cooking up some glue here. And also there's breakfast on the fire, fish tacos it is for me. Okay, I should have the tape now. Where's my shotgun? There it is. Level two should be better than the level two triple barrel shotgun. We'll find out in four minutes. So while we're waiting on all of that, we have a bit of a renovation project to start working on here. Yep, just in time to a huge fog storm rolling in. Okay, we need to chop some of this wood out. And the reason I'm doing this is because I've figured out a way to do a better transition with the A-frame and the crafting room wall. So that's what that is looking like now. We're gonna replace all of the blocks that we just chopped out with a little bit of a better selection, something more aesthetically pleasing to me at least. But I'm gonna finish off the other side. Looks like everything is kind of suspended off of the A-frame just fine so we shouldn't have any stability problems still though it's gonna take a ton of manual labor to get this done i figured i, ha I drank a nuka quantum there a couple minutes ago might as well get that 33 percent stamina bonus and finish this job off <laughs> i can't help but notice all this rain pouring into our dew collectors it doesn't look like the kind of rainwater i'd like to drink that ah, should be fine grow some hair on my chest all right, forgive me for the blurred vision, but I did down a beer to get the stamina bonus to knock out these last remaining couple of blocks. All right, so while we're waiting for the buzz to wear off, let's have a look at this pump shotgun here. That is going to be doing, ooh, 16.1 damage per pellet on 10 pellets, up from 10.7 on 10 pellets from the triple barrel. Plus we get a magazine size of eight instead of uh, three rounds, so huge increase in performance for us there. We have tube extender, duck bill and foregrip. I believe I can put all three of those on. Yep, one, two, three, and we're good to go. Just reload and we have our new kind of day-to-day weapon. Uh, maybe uh, we got some buckshot. I think we have a little bit of paper over here. Yeah, 251. Let's maybe get some shotgun shells a little bit more. That's fine. How about some more gunpowder while we're at it? I could go over and, and get a little bit more efficiency. I can get double the efficiency. If I took the mortar and pestle over to the chem station, which is at the old red rocket, I get double my gunpowder if I do that. That's quite a haul to get there. I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really want to do that because not only do I have to go there to do it, I have to go there to retrieve it and there's nothing else in the area that I want. So 601 gunpowder coming up and we can get some more coal at the barren land over there if we need it. The new block selection, let's kind of hash this out. So what I'm thinking is we got the wedge narrow, like bottom and the middle one there. I, I think of it like, you know, you have four of them. So you got number one, number two, three, and four. So we're gonna work with this one here. We'll call this like the, uh, the number, the number uh, three shape, I guess. And I'm gonna go straight through these little cutouts in the A-frame. And then I'm gonna take the the bottom one here, we'll call this like the number four, and do that across the top. So we got this kind of like um, concave shape to the wall here, which I think looks pretty cool, and also fills in this gap here very nicely. I think that looks okay. I can live with that. There's just nothing else that I could come up with in my head that looked good, kind of flushed up with the circle there. And we have to have the same theme going throughout the base. We can't just you know, change the whole style here. These are prefabricated gigantic I-beams, or at least that's what I'm going with here. <laughs> All right, let me string the rest of this up and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so that part of the project is done. The next thing we need to do are to take, we gotta fill in this corner here with something that looks good and we'll start at the bottom with a regular cube shape and then it's over to the, the wedge narrow corner series. So that's high, middle, low and at the top here tip and now that i'm here i'm seeing a good opportunity to do tips all around same thing on this side bottom middle low and tips all around so theoretically now i can also take this should be the same exact shape here the cube quarter side centered pyramid 
which looks about the same. And we could do some more kind of, is that, that's even right there. Some more spikes up here, which I think will kind of fit in well. Let's see what that looks like from below. Ooh, oh yeah, looking pretty good. We gotta do something down here though. This did not look very good. So we can do the wedge narrow tips, I think there. How about that? And then there's a little corner there. So we're gonna need the wedge narrow tip corner to fill that in and yes, that's what I'm looking for. I'll just have to come over on the other side and repeat the same process. Same exact shapes over here. Just gotta go through the little painstaking process of selecting the shapes and putting it all together. Okay, our airdrop is directly southwest, looks to be close to the UFO crash site, and there are other residential buildings down there. Perhaps we'll be out there someday doing a quest or something, so we'll mark it and we'll get there eventually. But for now, I need to find my nail gun. I think I saw it over here. And I need to grab the wood and I'm just gonna make a pass around here so it's not like particle board. So I'm not very nervous about having a bunch of exposed wood up here. Besides, it's only gonna be wood for, you know, a couple of days probably. So we'll make it a priority to focus on cobblestone production soon throughout the week. All right, let's drop back down in here. We'll do repairs at some point, but for now there's one more, well, a couple more modifications we need to make. Start with some demo work. Okay, so what we're looking for here is the cube corner beveled shape, and we're gonna put those in right here. And then we need to, I'm gonna make like an arch here, like the, the A, the crossbar for the A frame. Uh, what's next though? I think the wedge narrow, wedge narrow low, right there. And that should lead in perfectly to, I think that's gonna be a quarter plate lock right there. Yeah, wait, cube 0.25 meter it's called. And that is going to be the the keystone, the connection from one side of the base to the other. Solidify that, I think that looks really nice. And what I wanna do when we get the technology for it is put a blade trap right here. There should be a three by three area right there where we can put a blade trap and um, completely cover the rooftop pretty much during horde night. So when I'm fighting on the horde, I'm probably going to be standing about right here, which is just slightly off centered. So I think the birds will mostly basically go right straight into the middle of the base. That's where all the damage was done during horde night anyway. Okay, last little piece to this puzzle here are those bulletproof glass shapes that we made a little bit earlier and we just want the regular plate block for this, and it's unfortunate. These are expensive to make and equally expensive to repair. Oh, look how you can see the light kind of shining through that. It's kind of cool. There we go, my seven repair kits. I'm up to eight repair kits now. What did we need to repair in terms of armor? We gotta repair the legs, the boots, the chest, and the helmet is not far behind them. I think I need steel armor parts for the steel boots and then it's repair kits. That's two repair kits and another two. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, scratch that for two seconds there. In fact, yeah, scratch all of that, because I could just make myself a new set of armor and it would probably be <laughs> just as expensive as a repair kit. Actually, okay, it's more expensive, but uh, I figure instead of continuing to repair the level two stuff, let's just make ourselves some level five stuff. In fact, we could just convert straight over to level two in the steel stuff at this point. Although no, that's gonna use a ton of steel and we just got our hands on all that. Okay, so we're, we're talking about about 8% uh, damage reduction differential in armor types. I think that's significant enough for me to spend the steel on it. So there's that, the glue, make up the tape now and give me that steel chest armor and the steel leg armor behind that. And I will just for today wear the armor that I have until it breaks basically. And then tomorrow morning we'll fix it up with some fresh new armor. We got a horde here. Is this a horde? Yes, definitely. Whoa, hello everyone. All right, come one, come all, right up to the front fighting position. We've got brand new guns to test out. Oh man, the shotgun in this base here is just nothing but headshots. It's gonna be great. It's a competition to see who can shoot the zombies first, me or the other Brotherhood members here. All right, area looks to be clear. I've searched a couple zombies and found two nails, so I'm all set. I don't mind searching rads and searching ferals, but the regulars, no thanks. 
Okay, I think I'm just about ready to roll out. Let me just show you this though. Iron Fire Axe takes four repair kits to repair it. it you know, repair it all the way and it's a level six, so it'll last a long time, but still, man, the repair kit <laughs> grind is real right now. Okay, I think everything here is set to a point where I can forget about it for the rest of the day. We don't have much time left, so let's jump into the old pickup truck. Um, yeah, I'm not going very far. We're just going to a tier one, so I'll leave the crew here for today and yeah, we're, we're low on fuel, we're low on durability on the vehicle, but should be enough to get me just down the road here to the cold place. In fact, we got a mailbox here. I'm gonna search that before we proceed any further. Get back for needle and thread. Already got that one. Check out this RV though. I love this RV. I wanna know, is this, can I repair this? Or I never did figure that out before. I think not. I don't see any option, but I can wrench it. Still, that still works. Holy crap, we got a scorpion over there. I just heard a dog barking. And yeah, just got totally hammered by that scorpion there. So now I wish I had the RV because I would totally jump on top of it and fight this scorpion. Anyway, in the relative safety of this fence here, I think I am ready to take on the scorpion. Oh, <laughs> we'll just um, forget that that part happened. So this um, lever action rifle is great, but it takes the 44 Magnum, which, you know, makes a lot of sense, but I don't have as much of the 44 Magnum as I do uh, 7.62. And because I'm like into the sniper book series, I can make AP 7.62. There we go, dead. But I cannot make AP Magnum ammo, so I don't know if that's the necessarily best gun for me long term. Just grab the scorpion meat off of that, and hopefully someday I should be able to make a scorpion filet. I wanted to look into that. Food. Yeah, somewhere along here in the 36 to 50 range. Hard for me to tell. I think that's the scorpion filet, the mosquito steak filet, and some other stuff there. Okay, and I just saw the awesome sauce was on that list too. So when we get an awesome sauce, I have a sugar butt. We're gonna have to see if we can hopefully save up and be able to afford the um forgetting elixir because I, I gotta get some points into strength and to intellect i'm, I'm too <laughs> uh, someone as stupid as me cannot survive very well out here in the wasteland and weak as me as well I'm, I'm very weak and very stupid i'm lucky though but luck only gets you so far okay that guy's taken care of i will take the bones for sure because uh at this rate i'll need all of them i can get for glue production okay Let's hit the quest. There shouldn't be a whole lot going on here, but it's the wasteland, so it could be rads anywhere. Got a feral big mama, it looks like. Yeah, we just gotta wrap this up before nightfall. We can go get a quest reward. Is there another bear out here? I'm gonna have to go check on that. And then, um, yeah, I don't know what we'll do tonight. Maybe we'll work on the base a little bit. We can't really go too far. Yeah, where's this bear, though? Definitely heard a bear. Whoop! Yep, there he is right there. He's mad that I killed his brother there, or his mate. Or whatever the case may be, okay, up this little chute here, and whoa, to safety. That's the other thing, I'm severely lacking in agility, which is never good. Where'd he go? I would jump on the roof to this, but the last one got up onto this, so it's not necessarily safe over here. Yep, oh, there he go. Oh, he was climbing up the cinder blocks there. All right, more bones for the fire. Okay, before we head down, though, there's the... The coal miner's secret stash, which is over here. Hopefully they left some good tools in it. Although, even if I got, like, a steel pickaxe, I wouldn't be able to use it. The stamina is bad enough on the one I have. We got a forge ahead book instead. I couldn't ask for much better than that, honestly. Okay, just make sure we're reloaded, and let's head down here. There's a bunch of coal down here, too, but... I was just talking about the whole mining situation. It's not good, so... I'll hold off for a while in coming back here to mine it all out. And these are all ferals, so make sure you're searching them. Sometimes they have some dukes or parts or other interesting things. Candy, for example. Yeah, the regulars have pretty much nothing. Okay, they're kind of falling down from their hiding spots now. Oh, got a magazine off that one. Ooh, and that was an armor magazine. You watch, I'm gonna read this and it's gonna be like, yep, it's <laughs> steel quality three now, great. Okay, well, I wouldn't have been able to afford the steel cost in that case anyway, so it's fine. Oh, 74 bucks there. Tommy, here's the last one. 
Okay, we got one more hidden stash here. The not so hidden hidden stash, you could say. And man, that has some good stuff in it. Plasma microfusion cells, buckshot, nuke grenade ammo, electronics box here, wiring book. And in the main chest, oh my god, look at that. Oh, the best melee weapon that we could ever ask for. That is an amazing find right there. Let's see what I can do in terms of mods for it. Ergonomic grip, weighted head, and oh my god, this thing is just fully modded, stacked up, and ready to go. Wow, what a score the barren land coal place has been. Okay, yes, that's the advantage to living in the wasteland. This is where the good stuff is. It's also where the rads are, and the scorpions, and the, you know, zombie bear, and cops, and <laughs> every other malicious thing in the world. But we have been rewarded. Yeah, another bear over there. What is going, what is this like toxic waste dump over here? This place is gross, man. It's too late for me to go exploring though, so we'll have to come back, put that on the list of things to explore along with every other thing that I see around here, basically. Okay, I'm getting quite encumbered. Let's just dump this stuff and we have a little bit of time to poke around here. And I did see that there's like a garden back here, or at least I think this is a garden site back here. I'm gonna check it out anyway. Yep, vehicle adventure book there, nice. We've got this little farm thing over here and I'm thirsty suddenly. So, okay, we'll make this snappy. I think there are some crops that are in these little greenhouse things here. Whoop, there are definitely zombies. Oh, look at the knockback. I can't wait to find Tommy and send him flying into another dimension. Oh, here we go. It's exactly what I wanted. Mushrooms. Hoping for more than one. Any more back here? Couple of zombies, it looks like. A rad as well. Give it up, buddy. What do you got in your backpack here? Another treasure map. I'm already sitting on half a dozen of these things and no crops in here. And just to confirm, I can't have the plots. Okay, what is this place over here? I can see a sign there. It says waste tech. It looks like, oh my, there's a blood bag, a, a, meat, a meat bag there. That means that this is mutant territory. And what's this here? Is this the waste tech logo or is it like the mutant logo now? Hmm. Oh, we can see Jen's compound from here. Okay. So we're in familiar territory. You know what though? The mutants that we fought, that's the arcade right there, where we fought the last group of mutants. Okay, okay, I'm gonna just do a quick, it's 2100. I'm gonna do a quick scouting mission over here against my better judgment and just see what we're dealing with here. Nice and quiet. Let's just regen the stamina. Is there nothing I can do? I can read that treasure map, I guess. Sure, whatever. And just get me a sneaky ladder to get up here. Okay. What do you see back here? Anything good? Any scouts? Any snipers? I see some interesting loot over there. They might have some good supplies here. And I can see some like gore, some chained up bodies. They're definitely up to no good around here. Some more bodies over there. Yep, meat piles. What a mess. And that looks like a bunker entrance right there. We have a building on the right. We have a building on the left. Whoop! I definitely saw... Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, we made contact. We can't do this alone. Okay, we... Yep, get out of here, get out of here. We've been spotted, I can hear. There's gunfire. Okay, sniper rifle fire, or hunting rifle fire. Yep. I've been sighted. We're good, we're good. We'll come back here someday with the crew and push in there and see what they're up to. They could have prisoners, they could have loot. Who knows? And here's Johnny. What do you got for me, man? I guess I'll take Crafting Skill Magazine bundle and another job before they reset. Let's go with, I'll try that one. The Wet's Residence. Okay, just a quick fetch. I might try and just knock that out right now just cause I, I don't have much else going on apart from being thirsty and close to out of gas. Okay, I'm gonna make a pit stop back at the base and I'll meet you over at the Wet's Residence. All right, here we are at the Wet's Residence. Just be very quiet here. We'll check the mail for a hunter's journal. That's more damage to humans and zombies. Wow, lots of those kicking around. So that's nice to have. Watch out also for the landmines here. I think, I think I've read the book where I don't detonate them when they're stepped on, but 
I'm not about to go jumping on it to find out. Barrel soldier's good for a couple lock picks there. Okay, good enough. Let's hit it. Just here for a quick fetch. And the satchel is just right there. Who's in here? So we're not allowed to, sh whoops. Who's still here? Oh, Steven, get out of here. We are not allowed to shoot weapons at night in the wasteland. It draws way too much attention. So it's really perfect that we got the club here like we did so that uh, we don't have to. Well, you know, we might have to someday, but we uh, we have to <laughs> less, we're less likely to have to, I'll say. And um, the loot is just right here. I could see about sneaking up here for it. Whoop, whoop, oh, of course a radiated cop, wow. Ah. Oh, that thing I said about not needing guns? Throw that out the window. Whoa, look out. Oh my god. Okay, I might just, I might just leave. Okay, I think I'm good here. We got a dog as well somewhere. Ow, get in the truck. Ah! Wow, okay, chaos here in the final moments. Leaving. All right, we're back at Johnny's for my quest reward. I did get the steel armor crafted, which is looking pretty good there and should be giving us some more protection. And Johnny, what do you got for me for a reward? Gonna have to go with... Uh, I know it's boring, but the water. Water for glue, glue for duct tape, duct tape for repair kits. That is the chain right now. And since it's past midnight, we have a new set of jobs here. We could go south. South is hard to get to from here, though. Prefer something like southeast. That's pretty close by. Uh, Madeira Road, I guess? 93 Madeira Road? Sure. I'll go check out the place. Let's check the mail here first and hit the quest. Check it again and got some paper. Paper for shotgun rounds. Okay, what are we doing here? Clear area? <laughs> Lovely. Okay, just what I need to be doing at night. We do have... Whoop! Zombies in the field. As well as a biker there. Hello, Razor. That didn't last very long. Okay, we could take pumpkins. I do have the pumpkin pie recipe and I've cooked a couple of those so far. I can also make pumpkin cheesecake, although it doesn't have, it's, you know, it's good for purchasing, big purchases, but for the most part, you know, sell-offs, that's where you're gonna get your money. Okay, we have zombies all over the place. They are all around us. Here we go, unlocked and immediately a feral. Hold the door. Whoops, I'm stuck on the barbed wire. Ow, definitely time to patch myself up a little bit. If I'm lucky, I could maybe pull out a good drink here. Wasn't what I had in mind. There we go, Mega Crush. Okay, I'm going to keep that on the hot bar. I think we have Whoop, company here. Whoa, what happened? These crawling zombies, man, they're hard to keep track of sometimes. Feral too, 180 dukes in them. And there we go. There's our mutated zombie. Luckily, that's not going to start a fire <laughs> as he's just smoldering on the floor there. No, I don't think that the burning zombies or that the burning shaft puts us at a high risk of fire. I haven't seen it happen that way, at least. What do we got back here? Ooh, rads. Whoa, <laughs> that tour did not last very long. I'm going outside. Going to string these guys out a little bit, at least. Whoop, there we go. No guns allowed. Gotta go with the melee here. Oh my god. I got an abrasion. Here, I'm taking the Mega Crush. I'm also probably gonna have to let him blow up. Ow! Okay, I'm alive. <laughs> At least. Still not it. There are additional zombies here somewhere. Got a nice working stiff box here. Or Forge ahead. Nice. Oh, and that was the chem station. Yes! Okay, we're heading upstairs. Whoa, I was like moving really fast there for a second. Yeah, <laughs> that's the Mega Crush. We got another several minutes on that. This goes outside. Not interested in that. This is the main loot. I am interested in that. Just grab it. Oop. That was some kind of an advanced armor plating mod there. Let me just... Whoop. I'm gonna say shut that zombie in there for two seconds. Yep, let him out now. Both of them. There we go. Area's clear. That was a tempered plating mod for plus three armor. I just did the mods onto the new armor here, and I think I could probably part with the cooling mesh there. I was just putting it on there for the explosion resistance, but um, <laughs> and we just got, we just suffered an explosion, right? But no, I think we're all set. Hey, another treasure map there. Ooh, plasma pistol here in the weapons bag. Bring that down for a second. Okay, that takes, I think, I think that's just like energy. Yeah, 
plasma energy cells. I've got so much ammo back home. We found that one, what was it? Like a vault tech container or something that just had like, uh, it must have been at least 10 different ammo types in it. It was crazy. Yeah, we're all set here though. Let's go back to Johnny. Hello, Johnny. Well it's four gunpowder per shotgun shell. So, and I have the, I have the buckshot and I have the paper, I believe. So I think in this case, We'll get more shotgun shells if I just take the gunpowder. Yeah, we'll do the clear zombies to the east at 44 Dolan Good Road. Deal. All right, boys, get your breakfast into ya because we're going on a raid. All right, I think I'm just about ready to go. I just gathered up some explosives, food, drinks, some power-ups, and let's just get some of the tools off the hot bar that we're not going to need. And yes, definitely get some explosives to bring with us. Andy and all, good to have you around. Follow me and Jason over here. Why don't you also follow me? Okay, that's the crew right there. Andy and all and Jason. Let's hop in the truck and head over. Yep, this is the spot right here, right behind the barren land. And this is where the quest location is as well. So I think we could probably do that on the way out of here. Take care of that cop there. Anything good? Lead. So I guess this is it. Okay, take care of that guy. And um, yep, we're just crossing no man's land here. Okay, okay, okay. Just to kind of park it over here. Oh, they've got a security camera here. Okay, so they definitely know that we're coming. There's no sense in hiding right now. It's just all about the assault. All right. Um, geez, I wish I could do like a, a whistle command for these guys because I kind of want them to stay here and I can try to bait the, the mutants out a little bit because if we crest over this, it's like going over a trench going over the top there yeah uh, you're just gonna get lit up with gunfire so uh or if we cannot go over the mountain let us go under it okay there we go i just made a little tunnel under there we're underneath the field of view of the security camera so they shouldn't know that that happened we'll take a nuka quantum hopefully they don't see the glow off of that give me the grenades back we're good on food we'll take fort bites recog and wash that all down with sunset sarsaparilla that gives me only 25 water okay we'll have to watch the hydration i'm gonna get super dehydrated doing all of this and whoop i just was able to squeeze through there but i can't squeeze back out i just need to widen the hole a little bit there we go okay so the last time we were here the mutants were all held up inside this room here and I didn't see any anywhere else. So I'm just gonna kind of sneak up here and see if I can open this door. That door's locked. Whoop! If I can hear him. Okay, I'm gonna try to bust this lock open here. Come on, come on, get it open. Whoop! They're right behind the door. Hopefully they can't see me. Okay, I've almost got it, I've almost got it. Come on, come on. Oh, a little bit more. Crap. Okay, there we go. And I'm taking fire. Get out of here, get out of here. Come on, go in guys, go in and tank for me. And I will see about getting us some explosives. Oh, they're pouring out now. Look out! Get the bombs! Nice hit there! See if I can ricochet one right inside the door for him. That worked, and... Okay, gonna have to go for an air burst on that one. Totally worked! Nice, and he's down. Open that door, guys. Get in there. Go, 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 go! You first. Nice! Get in there, Jason. You're doing great! Take that guy out. Okay. Are we clear? We're not clear yet. We're getting there, though. Clear. And three skill points to spend. How are we looking, guys? Jason has taken quite a beating. Okay, just stay here. Stay here. Shut shut the door. Don't don't search search. Oh, <laughs> search the mutants, I guess. Okay, hang on. Get, get my head on straight here. What the hell happened here? They are chopping people up. This is disgusting. Search that mutant bag though, the meat bag, meat pile bag. And there's usually good stuff in here. Explosives, nice. And I see a button over here. Snap that. I don't know what that went to. Magazines in there. I can hear mutants, though. Yep, all right. They're trying to pile their way in again. Done. Okay. Now there are zombies in here as well. Lovely. Okay, I'm con this is a pretty good spot to hold down here. And I'm basically one-shotting mutants now with the, um, with the buffs that I have. Pretty much one-shotting everyone. Look, they got snipers posted up now. No chance, buddy. Oh! Ooh, I just pulled out a broken M60 from that guy. Whoop, another one over there. Look out, press forward while we have uh, the fort fights and everything helping us out. Is he dead? Kill him, please. One more over here. Okay, he's done. Any more? Wow, there's a whole bunch of them over here. Okay, guys, you're doing great. Make sure you're staying topped off on health as we push into... I think this is the barbecue area, it looks like. Whoop, more. Look out. 
Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Took some serious damage there. That was bad. Who was that? Okay, I'm gonna, whoa, not, no, 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 bad direction to go in. Going back this way. Okay, I need a bit of a sniper position to take advantage of my skill set. Whoop, recoil got me there a little. And take him at least down. Okay, we, we appear to have pulled back to a relatively safe position here. I don't see anyone right now. There we go, there's one. I think I just got one into his shoulder before he turned the corner there. Okay, I think I'm gonna settle on a clockwise clear around the perimeter of the compound. Whoop, look out. Okay, he's down. Look at the oil shale they have here. They have oil shale, they have coal. This is a good place for resources and he's down. He was weakened by the shoulder shot from earlier. Okay, searching the bodies as I go. Don't want to lose track of them. And let's maneuver around here. Yeah, that's going to be... That's going to be a real good resource for us to harvest, especially with the chem station on the horizon here. Whoop! More! Man, my steel armor. It's really... It's really good, I think. Okay, we're going to do a bit of a rush here. Rush, rush, rush! Go, go, go! Oh, look out! Taking some fire from the M60 man over here just take him out. He might have a broken M60 on him. On nope, kill. just did some wood. What's in here? Nothing. Oh, ow, I just got shot. I didn't see where it came from. Is it coming from the other side of the wall? Do we have mutants outside here too? Uh, oh, I don't know. I can't see what's going on here. Okay, I decided to fall back to these fuel pumps over here so I can scout a little bit better and clear the area. Man, it's like a war zone in here. Got zombies way, way back there too. Okay, took one down zombie there, but that wasn't the one that was shooting at me. One there. Was there someone? There's someone in this tower there. I knew it. There we go. Okay, he's down. Bit of a sniper tower there. Nice. All right, I think we can progress with the clear job. Yeah, everything's looking good. Everyone's healed up. I still have... I don't think I have any power-ups right now. Let's take a... I guess a sunset sarsaparilla. That should give me a little something something here for the for the end, the last couple corners. Actually, we're, we're barely halfway there, and we gotta go into the bunker. Oh! Ow! Ambush! Okay, I think I... I think I got him. One over here with the baseball bat. I'm running kinda low on ammo here for this. We could move over to... In fact, we should move over to the shotgun at this point. Close quarters here. Alright, anything? Oh man, we're going room to room now. And that goes downstairs. Great. I I'd rather clear the surface here first. Who's here? I can hear someone. <laughs> right in the groin. Hit him right where it hurts. Look at the crater here. Oh my goodness. Talk about a war zone, man. That was a big detonation there. Could be some first aid over here by this ambulance. In fact, yes. Good first aid stuff. And gore piles. No one's on that tower anymore. That's clear. There were some guys on that rooftop. That is clear. I think all we have to clear now is this building here, and then we're heading into basements. Whoop! Okay, get back, get back, get back, guys! Get back! There's explosives here! Oh, man! We've got such a good opportunity to blow them up! Come on, can you get out of there, please? Get out of there, man! Get out of there! It's Jason trying to be a hero! Okay, I'll help him out. I wanted to detonate all these uh, barrels, but we're gonna lose someone if we do that. Just be careful with the shots here. I'm real nervous, but it's working. I think we're good. Kill that last guy. Oh. oh, a bird. Okay. Take a little bit of a breather here. The armor is in bad shape. It's the power helmet, and I don't have the power armor repair kit here. Let's get the Molotov down and the super nuka grenade. Okay, well, one thing we cannot have is a fuel depot for the mutants this close by, so I'm gonna <laughs> take care of business here. There we go. Okay, that should be a big logistical strike against him. Lost my eyebrows though in the process. That's okay, they'll grow back. Okay, I'm also gonna solo check the basement to this place over here. Yeah, I don't see any bad guys here. I do see a little bit of loot here hiding though. Anything good for me? Another steel club, nice. That means we're getting into like the really good high tech weaponry. Hopefully we'll come across like a Gauss rifle or a laser rifle or something soon. Okay, we do also have a screamer here. My bad, but she's on the outside of that T-wall over there, so hopefully she won't be too much of an issue. Anytime soon, at least. Okay, let's grab the crew, and we're heading down this bunker here. All right, I only have 15 shots or so, 17 shots left in this, so I'm gonna make them count. Got plenty of shotgun rounds, though. I can hear some really weird noises right now, and we definitely have a soldier on the other side of that door there. Guys, I don't know what this sound is, but it sounds really bad. Is that 
a door that I can open right now. It is. Are you guys ready for this? I don't know what this noise is, but I'm about to find out. Okay. First two are down. What is going on in here, man? Looks like we had some, some rubble here. There is a broken vault door behind it. Okay, so I can't go that way. This vault door here is working. There we go. Yeah, I think the noise that I'm hearing are just, um, here we go. Another guy here. I think they're trying to move some of these doors. We did have a power armor rack here, but no power armor on it. Oh, this just keeps going and going. What are these? Retro chairs, decorations for the base. Nice. This must be their little lounge area where they, you know, pretend to be humans. Old radio. Metal drawers for <laughs> nerdy glasses. Nice. Otherwise, bit of a dead end down that way. We're gonna proceed further this way. I wish I did have the wrench with me. I'd do some wrenching while I'm here, but I think I... I don't know. I left it somewhere. Whole bunch of magazines in there. Nice. What is that? A microscope? Nice. I'll take that. If anything, these things could be good for selling. Oh, okay. There's their camera there for the security cameras. That's how they knew we were coming there. Open this door. Yep. That noise I've been hearing is just them opening doors in here. And whoa, look at this. Okay, so yeah, they can, um, I don't know. They're trying to <laughs> fix up the power here or something. Okay, another door here. Oh my God, that goes just even deeper into this compound. This could go on forever. I have no idea where this ends. It could very well end in my death, but at least I can say I died honorably fighting mutants. Yo, we got more. Stuck behind this door here, though. Let's let him in. Oh, big room here. What are you guys even doing here? Oh, boy. Took some damage there. We got someone with an SMG or something in there. Take him out, please. Ah, yeah, we don't do much damage with the shotgun unless we can close the distance. Got more mutants in the back there. That didn't last long. Man, what I would give for some 44 Magnum. Words I don't think I've ever said before in my entire life, but would be very helpful right about now. Okay, oh, look at the power armor back there. Can I... Okay, I can pick my way into this, I think. I think I got it. Nice, okay. Just be careful, it could be an ambush in here waiting for us, but... No, looks clear. Look, we got an old cinema reel here, some shelves. Nice, radio. Old telephone, old desk to search through, old TV. Oh my goodness. This is what we want though, the power armor. What do we get this time? Okay, good pair of boots. I guess that's good. I'll take all of that. And some racks to go through for some parts, most likely. And at this point, um, Jason, you're the hero of the day here. So can you take some of this stuff off my hands real fast? Okay, we're doing really good here so far. There has been just a tremendous amount of good loot. The good loot continues. Another locked door here, but my lockpicking skills are second to none. There we go. And another door. There we go. We're in again. Another door. Oh, and a gun safe. What's in this? Okay, same old stuff. A whole bunch of steel club parts. Won't be needing those ever again. Hopefully last door here. What is going on right now? And what is this? Is this just a... Whoa. More stuff back here. Although, honestly, not very good stuff. What's this? Could just be a door on the ground. Nope, it's a door to some more loot. Look at this. Hidden stash in the floor. That's good for cryo grenades. Like some experimental tech here. Not as much upfront damage as a normal grenade, but makes up for it with slowing and weakness effects. And it has a short fuse, so just throw it immediately. Did you hear that? I just heard a, a somebody yell, I wish there were more zombies around. Okay. So we're in earshot of a group of somebodies. Oh, look at the good stuff in here. Money, tool and die set. Okay, some ammo. Good. Couple of books in there. That was a batter up book. That was it for the batter up series. And just by chance, no, I don't think there's anything hidden down there. Okay, so good little sneaky loot room here. We gotta back out of here and find out who w who said that. Who wants to kill more zombies? I got a surprise for that person <laughs> in a few minutes. It might have been below me. It sounded like it was above me though. I'm not I'm not sure. This has been a project getting out of here. 
Come on, guys. Back it up. Back it up. Make way. Go, 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 go. All right. Good job. Oh, more books on the floor. I passed right by them. Ammo box on the floor with some slugs. S something you don't find every day. And a wall safe, it looks like, to close things out. That is a Nuka safe. So this could be really special stuff. It is... Nuka recipes. This will teach you how to brew multiple flavors of Nuka Cola. Okay, base ingredients used to brew different types of Nuka flavors. Wow. Okay, we still have a long way to go though. We have only cleared out, I don't know, one level of the bunker and it goes down even further. We got a vault tech container here. Last time I opened one of these, there were like a thousand different ammo types in it. And this time it's exactly the same. Look at all this good stuff. Energy cells, bulk stuff, microfusion, plasma, max charge, bulk. Oh, jeez, I don't even know what all that stuff is. Okay, Jason, you're pretty much stacked. Doll, need your help here. Anyway, okay, we are we're getting toward nightfall, so we need to press further down here and see what the end of this place is all about. A little bit of ammo here and you're this done. over here. Old boxes. Okay, search that acid. Good to have. And, yep, got some mutants back there. All right, boys, we ready for this? Uh, open her up. There we go. Get back. Got any buddies back here, or is it just you? Yeah, this looks like the end of it right here. Ooh, is this some kind of like a... a super guy in there? Guess not. Oh my goodness, look at that! What? What is this? Is it a button that opens up all the doors? It definitely was. That is a spray. No prey. Some kind of a super weapon here that is doing oh my god rounds per minute 596 so probably not the most practical weapon um in fact it uses the yellow ammo okay where did i just pawn off all the ammo give me the microfusion cells should be able to reload this oh this is gonna be fun all right we gotta head topside and wipe out the screamer anyway let's get out of here it's getting pretty late take that terminal i can hear a zombie kind of thrashing around somewhere so many of them may have lurked in now that all the defenses have been neutralized all right we're on the fast track to get out of here i don't think i'm going to spend the time picking through here or you know what's it look like up here anyway it's actually looking pretty tame I don't know where the screamer went, but they've carved some holes through the wall for sure. What do we got? Oh, it's, um, there are more snipers here. Oh, and there's one of their dogs. The last of the mutants, man. Okay, look at that. Waste tech. Gonna just check up here and see, were these guys gonna be guarding anything up here? Or, you know, probably not. Probably just their... Whoop! Ha <laughs> ha Yes, they were. Good thing I came up here. What is gonna be inside there, though? Is it probably nothing? Oh, this is just their, uh, <coughs> oh geez, that's gross. And we will exit the same way we came in if possible. There we go. So let's just do a quick dump here and we have an hour before nightfall. Can I move now? <laughs> Still just barely. Okay, are we hungry, thirsty? No, nope, we're good. First aid's good. All right, let's do this clear job and we'll call it quits for this part of town. I mean, I can't wait to test this thing out. Let's just get a group of zombies here and start blasting. Okay, let's grab this main loot and we can leave. That was a Magnum, not too bad, and a Scorpion Filet. And with that, we're all set. All right, guys, let's go home. A quick pit stop here at Johnny's to go brag to the boys about how he took down the mutant threat in the area. The next threat is the Viper threat. We gotta get in there and see if we can clear that place out. Yeah, I don't know about that. Johnny, what's up, man? You. I'm gonna go with your crafting skill magazine bundle, I guess, and then another job. Everything's kind of far away. I guess we'll do fetch to the south at the Shady Shed that's Farms. Like. Just thinking, yeah, that's actually kind of close to that airdrop, so we can do that all at once. When was your restock day? 28. Okay, so he just actually restocked. What does he have? He has the bellows, which we know is like loot only, so that would probably be something worth having, but I'm saving my money. I'm really not gonna buy anything unless it's critically important to us. You. Like, yeah, 400 cobblestone. It's, it's so cost effective to get the cobblestone. I feel like that's fine. Okay, and that was pretty much it. I'll get all the sellables together tonight 
and we'll do a bit of a sell-off here in the near future. I might even just start like saving all of my sellables so that we can do an awesome sauce, sugar butt, you know, like the all-in-one sell-off. We could make a lot more money that way and then buy the forgetting elixir at the very end. All right, well, to the Radcats, I wish them luck for tonight. Uh, where's my crew? Are you guys still in the truck there? Yep. Okay, let's get you guys back into the base. Get everything unloaded, packed away, and organized, and we'll come up with a plan for tomorrow. Anyways, thank you for joining me on this adventure here and the Mutant Compound Assault, and I will see you first thing tomorrow morning. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.